Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. So Apple will introduce something interesting to make your iPhone more secure. So as you may know, now, if you want to go to a website and you want to log in or even an app, most of the time your iPhone has stored that password into what is called keychain. Or if you go to settings and you scroll down, passwords in here are all my passwords stored. But that seems to be a bit unsecure you still can be hacked people are using the same password over and over and over again and that's something that's vulnerable hackers are ultimately likely uh, most likely going to target those people who are using their password more often than not on across apps and apple thought of doing something to change that and that's where they come with pass keys so pass keys allows you or allows your iphone to generate a key every time you try to log in into an application or into your account so let's say you have multiple accounts and you try to log in from your iphone into one of those accounts your iphone generates a pass key key that communicate with your actual iCloud where your uh, accounts are stored. So that way it knows that that pass key that's generated for that moment is linked to that iCloud account. And that way they know that you are uh, the owner of that account. So every time you try to log in, your iPhone will use whether face ID or touch ID to confirm that you are the owner of that iCloud account it generates a pass key for that particular website or account and it communicates with iCloud to see if there's a connection between all that. And if that's the case, you can log in into that account. So that means Apple will once and for all eliminate all that those password generating software and even you typing your own password in it. And most of the times, let's be honest, guys, we type a very easy password like, I don't know, keyboard one, two, three, four or whatever. Those passwords, especially if you use them uh, over and over again, are very easy to be hacked. So now you might be asking, okay, so that goes for Apple. What if, if I want to log in into my account into a Windows uh, computer for, um, let's say you want to go to your email on a Windows computer, what to do? Well, Apple have thought for that as well. They generate an API and an API is something that developers use to connect uh, that software that Apple made to their own software and what you will have is that your hot, your email or whatever software you're using on the Windows machine will generate a QR code. And you can just go to your camera, scan that QR code, log in, your face ID will be activated or your touch ID, and you will be good to go. You uh, will have access to your account without... Uh, from a Windows machine without even leaving that win Windows machine. So basically that QR code that's been generated over and over again. So every QR code is basically a unique one will uh, let you uh, let your iPhone communicate with that Windows machine. And that way you'll be able to log in. So yeah, that's a pretty good sign. And why wouldn't they do so? Every time they add a layer of protection to your iPhone, more and more people will be gravitated towards buying an iPhone. It's a very smart move that Apple has done, uh, making your iPhone more secure. Even if you go to the Apple website, their slogan is iPhone is privacy. Privacy, And even Apple will not, be, will not have access to those pass keys. So basically your iCloud need to be two-factor authentication secure. So, so if you don't have that, you don't be able to, to make use of this new piece of uh, new future. If your iCloud is two-factor authentica authenticated, it will be able to generate that pass key for you because you've added a new layer of protection to your iCloud and that way you'll be more able to uh, use pass keys throughout your Apple devices. So yeah, that's uh, that's basically it. Um, yeah, Apple is launching pass keys. When will, the, when will they launch this uh, pass keys future? Well, it seems like on the new iOS 16 launch when, it's, when it will be officially launched. I'm not talking about the beta version. Um, it should not be there yet because uh, a lot of developers need to integrate this future into their uh, website. Um, but I think throughout the year uh, in one of those iOS uh, 16 updates, we will get this passkey future and that 
will be very huge. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you got something out of it. If you have, make sure to subscribe to this channel, leave a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Watch one of my recent video right here and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.